What's up guys, welcome to another What I Eat In A Day video. My name's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and in today's video I'm gonna show you everything that I ate today, including some of the meal prep stuff that I made ahead of time, and I'm also going to share some little treats that I snacked on throughout the day as well. I hope that it gives you loads of good recipe ideas. Before we get started, I'd like to say a quick hello to my friends in Norway, Frederike and Fanny. I met them at a really fun garden party when I was there this summer, and she asked me for a shout out, Frederike did, and I told her I would give it to her, but then I never posted the Norway vlog because I'm actually a terrible vlogger. So I just wanted to say a quick hello. Hi. Hi. Are you having a good 17th of May? Yeah. What, what did we learn today? Uh, lit. Lit. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you like, are you going to use those words in real life? Yeah. yeah. What kind of YouTube channel do you have? Uh, gaming and just... That's so cool. Yeah. I don't know anything about gaming, so if you guys want to learn how to game, you have to go check out her channel. She's really awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Hi! What did they do? You want to be on the video? Hi! Hi. <laughs> Now on to breakfast. My day started very slow. Some of you know that I'm a cocktail waitress a couple nights a week, so my schedule is a bit flip-flopped and I have my chill time in the morning and I have more work time in the afternoon and evening. So especially since this was a weekend day, I wanted to have a really cozy, slow morning and I just made myself a big glass of water. I had a cozy cup of coffee. I did some chores around the house to clean my space, and then I actually decided to take a little fall bubble bath because I wasn't quite hungry yet, and I don't get a chance to do this at night, so I decided to do one in the morning. And I used a Lush bubble bar. This is actually not a bubble bar, it's a bubble bomb, fizz, bath fizz thing. It makes it smell like pumpkin. It was awesome. I also watched this great Nora Ephron documentary called Everything is Copy. Super interesting, especially if you're a Nora Ephron fan. And in this documentary, she kind of talked about some of the famous lines in her movies and how they came about, and I thought it was really entertaining. Now, since I had some time on my hands this morning, I decided to make my pumpkin pancakes. I was really getting into the fall spirit, even though it is still a little bit early because we've had some gloomy weather here in LA and I really wanted to have something that was kind of festive and felt like a treat because technically it was the weekend. So I made my pumpkin pancakes and I'll make sure to put the recipe down below. And one thing I love about this recipe is they're actually made with really wholesome ingredients. It's pretty much just the same thing as having a bowl of oatmeal, except it's in pancake form. So I feel really good about nourishing my body while still kind of indulging in more of a treat food. And since I am a recipe creator, I can't help myself but to make it look pretty, take a couple pictures, and then once that is done, I really just kind of like to have them like this, kind of splayed out on a plate. I went ahead and I added a little bit of unsweetened vegan yogurt because I think that cool, creamy contrast is so nice. Think pumpkin pie with a little bit of whipped cream. Then I did some pumpkin seeds for crunch and also a bit of protein. And then I added a little bit of warm maple syrup on top, and this was so good. My to-do list usually has things organized by priority and then things that aren't so important and still fun. So one of those things that was not super important but really fun on my list this whole week that I kept neglecting was to kind of decorate my space for the fall months. What I do is generally bring out some warmer blankets because it does start to get really chilly in my apartment and I have some holiday, you know, kind of festive decorations in a box in my closet and throughout the year I kind of rotate some of the stuff. It's not an essential at all but it is really fun and I think it adds a little whimsy and warmth and it was fun so I spent a couple of minutes doing that and I do actually save my tea bag note things I think they're really cute and I look at them from time to time on the weekends or on a day off I like to meal prep as much as I can so that I have easy meals throughout the week and since Nicole over on Your Health Nut sent me her beautiful new cookbook I decided to make a soup recipe it seemed really cozy and this cookbook is amazing. I highly recommend it. It's not fully vegan, but there are vegan recipes like the soup I'm going to show you how to make. And it's just beautiful. I'm a big fan of her, so I was really excited to get this book. Now, the first ingredient that you're going to need are leeks. And a little trick I have for leeks are instead of rinsing them and then slicing them, I'll slice them and then put them in a big bowl of water and let them sit for like 10 or 15 minutes. And that way, all of the grit and sand falls to the bottom and you'll have really nice clean leeks that you can use for your soup or whatever recipe. 
Then I'm just gonna saute the sliced leeks with some garlic and shallot, and then we're gonna add some potatoes, and this is what makes the soup really creamy. And this is, as it turns out, a really allergy-friendly recipe because this is what makes it creamy and not anything like nuts or soy. So if you have nut allergies or soy allergies, you can still enjoy this soup. I know that you guys tell me that some of you have that, and I just wanted to point out that this would be a great recipe for you. Then I'm gonna add some veggie broth and some spices like thyme and bay leaf, some salt and pepper and chives. And then all you do is just let this kind of cook and hang out for a little while and your kitchen will smell so good. I was pretty hungry while I was waiting so I had a big spoonful of peanut butter. It's one of my favorite snacks. And then I decided to do another one of those non super important tasks, but something I've been meaning to get to and I finally had the time to do, which is to transfer some of my bulk items into clear jars. It's like I said, a non essential thing. You definitely don't need a kitchen full of jars, but I find that I actually use the ingredients that I have on hand when they're easily accessible. I can see what I have and they're kind of pretty and easy to access because that way I remember like, oh, I can add a little this or a little that. So I finally got that chore done while I waited for my soup. Then I blended it up so it was nice and smooth and creamy and I looked in my fridge to see if there were any veggies I needed to use up because I was planning on grocery shopping the next day and it turned out I had some kale and bok choy. Now if you don't like sauteed grains like I didn't used to like, what the trick is for me is to slice them really small and then to saute them with coconut oil, salt, and garlic powder. I think it makes such a great flavor combination and I had that with some avocado toast and the soup. Dang, that's good. This is exactly what I wanted. When I was thinking about what kind of soup I wanted to make for today, because I knew I wanted to make soup for the week, I wanted something like creamy, but really flavorful and just like cozy and comforting. 10 out of 10, it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna go have the rest of my lunch, bye. So I am working on a job with Ocean Spray, which is really cool, it's for Instagram. And I've made this really cool cream cheese, so now that I've taken um, a picture of everything that I need for the job and some video stuff, I'm just kind of snacking a little bit. I mean, we could call this taste testing, but really I'm, I'm just snacking. These are the little chips. I mostly chose these, one, because I had them on hand from my Thrive Haul. They're delicious. We opened the bag at a girls' night recently, but also because I have kind of a, you know, cranberry red color theme going on here, and I thought they'd be really pretty. So that's what I'm working on slash snacking on, and yeah. Just got back from running some errands. I have a couple hours of editing ahead of me now. It's about 7 o'clock. Also, you guys, how cute is my phone background? Every time I look at it, it's just... I think it's very soothing to look at. I never had a seasonal phone background. I've never even had a phone background. It was always just like the, the regular one that comes with the phone. But I got this, I saw it on Pinterest and I put it on my phone. I'll actually link it for you guys in the description box if you guys wanna get it. Cause it's just, it's very fall. It's very, I get all the cozy vibes. And it's just, I don't know, there's something soothing about it every time I look at my phone and, and that's the background. I just think it's pretty. Anyway, side note, I'm gonna go make dinner now. I'm just gonna reheat leftovers like I said, but I did wanna show you the day that I meal prepped this so you can see the recipe and I'll write it out in the description box for you guys. So I have lots of leftovers and I've been having it for the last couple days, like for lunch or dinner, whenever I need it. And I'm just gonna reheat that and then get to work. Since I cooked my breakfast and my lunch on this day, I did not feel like making dinner and I kind of planned my day this way because I knew I had meal prepped a bunch of delicious food earlier, a couple days ago when I was working on a recipe. So I just reheated the leftovers. But this is a clip from the day I was meal prepping it and making it so I could show you what I did. So don't think that you have to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day to be a healthy, whole food, plant-based vegan. You absolutely don't. What I do is I kind of make big portions of everything and then I keep it in the fridge and reheat leftovers or I freeze leftovers. And that way I have kind of a mix of homemade and convenient at the same time. So for this, I'm basically making a sheet pan fall roasted veggies and vegan sausage dinner. And for this, I just have potatoes, I have turnips, I have um, some cabbages and also some Brussels sprouts. And I season this very generously with a bit of olive oil, lots of salt and pepper, and also some red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat. And then I'm just gonna put this on a sheet pan 
And then I like to add a little bit more like fall flavors into the mix with some onion and some apple. I put loads of sage and rosemary, salt and pepper, and a little drizzle of olive oil. And I toss that to combine. And then I just kind of set that in between the veggies so that the veggies and the onions and the apples kind of have different seasonings. It's not essential to do it separately like this, but I think it's nice to have a little bit of variety, even though you kind of are just throwing everything onto one pan. Then I took some vegan sausages from Field Roast and I kind of set them on top of the veggies so that as they cook, they kind of get a bit of flavor onto the veggies as well. And then everything just goes into the oven to bake. This will already smell like fall before it goes into the oven, but then we're going to really up the ante with a really fall inspired delicious sauce. So for this, I'm just gonna take some cranberry juice, some pure cranberry juice, balsamic vinegar, a touch of maple syrup, and then some cranberries. And I'm gonna bring that to a boil on the stove. And once it's bubbling, you're gonna reduce the heat, put a lid on it and let it simmer until it thickens up. It's not too sweet, it's really balanced. It has that nice tartness from the vinegar, but it has a nice cranberry kick to it with just a touch of sweetness. And I think it works so well with the roasted veggies and the sausages and the potatoes. So on this day around dinner time, all I had to do was reheat some leftovers and I popped this into a microwave safe bowl. I did end up going back for seconds of more veggies and more potatoes, but I just warmed this up in the microwave along with some of that sauce. I hope that this video gave you some inspiration and kind of showed you a little bit more of my philosophy on how I cook and how I meal prep. On days where I have the time to make something, I just generally make a lot and it feels really cozy in the moment to cook something for myself, but also it feels really good in my mind to know that throughout the week I have lots of healthy options waiting for me in the freezer or in the fridge so I have wholesome healthy meals to turn to when I'm hungry. So I love setting myself up for success, health success on the weekend. So that is what I did today. I hope it gave you some good ideas and thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye.